Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on camera navigation inside of Unity 3D. So, again, where we left off last time, we set Unity 3D up, we installed it, and we got you know this default version of Bootcamp, which is the default demo uh, that comes installed with Unity 3D up and running. So, pretty cool stuff. It comes with a beautiful you know 3D world already pre-made for you and you know unity was nice enough to do that all right so what's important is is that you get familiar with the camera navigation tools why is this important because you need to be able to successfully and efficiently move around this 3d environment and if you can't you're gonna have a you're gonna have a long day in unity so let's go ahead and get started the first thing you're going to need to learn how to do is i think which is most important to learn from the get-go is the fly-through mode and this is kind of backwards and most people normally teach it the tumble mode things like that well I like to go straight to the fly through mode because if you're on a low level like this and you're like low to the ground you know this represents a more realistic style of what a character walkthrough would be inside the game itself so how do you use the fly through mode hold down the right mouse button and use the W A S or D keys on the keyboard again W moves you up so let's take a look at that right mouse button down W just ran me up so we hold down S we're gonna run backwards we hold down left we're gonna run right and if we go D on the keyboard that's gonna run us right I'm sorry A's gonna run you left D is gonna run you right alright so again just use those keys those are typical gaming keys for computer games so W A S D pretty straightforward all right, now we're going to talk a little bit about the tumble mode. So how do you go into tumble mode? All you do is hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard and then left click. This is going to move you all around this you know, 3D world. You're going to be able to move right. You're going to be able to tilt the camera up, around, anything you want to do essentially. All right, that's pretty straightforward as well. You know, most people find that to be the most important, but I, you know, pretty straightforward. Again, next one we're going to do is we're going to do the zoom tool. So how do you zoom out? Well, you can use the middle mouse button. I do need to say, you need to be using a three button mouse. If you're doing any kind of 3D, whether it be modeling, animation, game engine work, whatever it is, you need a three button mouse. Everybody, you know, it's pretty industry standard that everybody's using a three button mouse if you don't have one go get one it'll make your life a lot easier so when I refer to anything in this tutorial I am using a three button mouse and that's what I'm referring off of so middle mouse wheel to zoom out back to that back to zooming to zoom out or in all you do scroll the middle mouse wheel now this moves kind of slow as you see I'm zooming out now if you wanted to zoom faster what you're gonna do hold down the alt option key again right mouse click hold it down and just drag your mouse now we move a lot faster and we can move out a lot faster as well too as you see we're flying through these trees pretty quickly now what we're gonna do to get out of these trees we're gonna track and what you're gonna what tracking is is pretty much the movement up down left or right in a linear fashion so how do you track hold down your alt option key middle mouse button down as you're seeing we're moving straight up we're going high we're not tilting the camera we're not doing anything we're just moving straight up so piece of cake if you wanted to move left again alt option on your keyboard middle mouse button down and just start moving again if you want to go right same difference nothing really complicated here at all all right, and again, if you actually I want to show you a zoom from up here because it was kind of slow down there because we're so close to the ground. But if you hold down that option, option Alt key and you start moving, you'll see you move pretty quickly by holding down that middle mouse button. Let's go ahead and keep zooming. Now, if you zoom all the way out, you'll see that this world, this 3D world that comes pre-built with Unity, is essentially just a plane that's been raised you know has, has different textures going on and 
not much to it. You know, it has a fake 3D, not 3D, it has a fake, fake image plane in the background that essentially gives it a realism of a never-ending mountain range. Again, all this is is just a plane that's been raised in certain places with textures applied to it. So it's pretty straightforward, nothing complicated. So let's get all the way back in pretty quickly by using our zoom tool. And we now something else really cool about this as we come back into the city because we zoomed way out is what's called the center tool. So we're going to use the center tool to see things and get objects, whatever the object may be, whether it be a building, a rock, a house, a tree, whatever. We're going to where well, the way you select something is you left click. When you left click on something, you select it. Like right now, I selected building B. So building B, we're going to go ahead and put this centered to the camera. So how do you do that? You hit select it by using the left mouse button, hit F on the keyboard, and now it's center. Now it is in the center of your screen. And that goes for just about anything. Let me tumble around and select some something else to give you a better feel for how this is going. All right, let's say we select this rock over here. Again, we selected it by using our left mouse button, hit F on the keyboard, center to what we see. Same with this rock. Now it's center. Again, you get the drift of this, nothing complicated here. All right, the last thing we're going to touch on is we're going to touch on full screen mode. Right now you see these in panel these panels like the inspector project hierarchy. Now let's say that's taken up your valuable real estate screen space and just not working out for you. You need you need more. You know, you need to take advantage of that, you know, real estate. So, how do you do this? It's space on the keybar, the keyboard. And they're all gone. The, the projects, hierarchy, inspector, all that's all gone. You know, it takes full expansion of your screen. It takes full expansion of your screen. So, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at using some of the transform tools and we're going to look deeper into the interface because again, knowing the interface is very, very important. And once you get to know this interface, as I mentioned before, you'll be a whiz in Unity 3D. So again, if you need more help, feel free to visit us at YouTube slash user slash Fredricate, leave me a comment or visit my profile at fredricate.com and leave me a message there, shoot me, shoot me a message, whatever you want to do, no problem, I'll get back to you and answer your questions. Again, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.